Hello everybody, Sith here again with another rotator run and today I'm gonna be doing a run with the golem, the rock, the stone, the crazy tank character. I'm gonna talk about his stats right now. 20 max HP. Max HP modifications are increased by 32%, which means this 20 is not actually 20, it's 26 and with his starting health it's even more. Armor modifications are increased by 33%, really good, the only character that has this passive. 40% attack speed when you have less than 50% health, really 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 good. 20% speed, movement speed when you have less than 50% health okay that's decent and you cannot heal in any way the downside obviously is literally going against the upsides but this is a fair downside i would say not like some other characters and we're gonna play with the spiky shield in my opinion because this gets damaged based on your armor and this being the only character that can gain armor in big amounts i would say shield is the way to go let's go difficulty five we got a very ugly looking stage but it is what it is let's go and let's hope for the best here and i start with 39 life i told you normally you start with 10 and we should have 30, and we have 39. 39 is 3%, uh, 33% more than 40, so uh, than 30, than 30 is what I meant to say. So the numbers check out. 56 coins to turn one is decent. Here I would like to get armor if possible. Or luck. Or luck. I'm gonna get armor, obviously. Uh, we found an spec shield, very nice. And just like that, we are into medieval and blunt. Blunt gives us armor, medieval gives us armor. Literally, the character is like, I'm gonna go armor. Armor, armor, armor. Lumberjack, destroy, trees in one hit. Might as well go for this. You take it up to one time. 10% attack speed's good. I'm gonna roll for three, because right now we only find weapons. So let's try to find... Um, um, in case you don't know, in the first three waves, you always find two weapons. So it's literally the best chance to start spamming rolling. This does 2% crit damage. I could go for this. Ah, eh, whatever. Oh, movement speed gives you damage. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go with the double shield boy and with the flannel. Over here, we're gonna destroy everything. Obviously, we want to scale as much armor and as much health as possible because that is what this character is. I'm gonna assume that we're gonna, at the end, I would say I would like at the end to have about 200 health and about 3D armor. If I have those numbers, I'm good. Now, obviously, it would be better if I had more of both. If anything, I would say maybe armor at 50. Let's go armor 1. Medieval shield and attack speed. Roll them. Uh, definitely go for XP. And I always think this is good. And also this. And also this. And let's go. Movement speed is not really something I care about. Armor is definitely something I care about. So uh, we're going to definitely invest everything we can possibly do to get as much armor as possible. And even if we lose a bit of movement speed or a bit of damage or a bit of anything... It doesn't really matter at the end of the day because I'm going to be more tanky, right? It's not only about the fact that armor gives us damage because of specifically the shields we're using, but it's also about the fact that it gives us survivability. It's not only about damage for this, it's also survival. And if I can have like 50 or 60 armor, then all opponents are going to be doing 2 damage and I don't think I'm going to get hit like 200 times at the end. That's good one armor. Here I would say harvesting. Might as well. This is really enough for it to pay off. I'm gonna buy all of these. No, that was a mistake. I should have bought XP first. Why did I just buy them randomly? Anyway, let's roll for four. We're still at the phase where we find a lot of these. Let's also get more money out of chests. If I just find two chests, that's obviously gonna pay for itself on the spot. At one chest, it's already already half price. I bought it for 22. It's gonna give us 15 per chest. I just need to find two chests throughout this whole run, which is definitely gonna happen. Now, as always, spending money to make money is not just, oh, you make money, therefore 100% do it. It's also, I guess, not really sure. The, the the power of having the money at hand and using that money to buy things is also very important. Like, having money is also important sometimes, not only investing, right? That's why they tell you in real life to invest only a percentage of your money, not all of it. Six max HP, that's a lot of max HP. Or, uh, or I could roll into... I could also go for six luck, but I don't care about that. Let's get... I could take ten luck, though. Do I want luck? I'm thinking about two armor. We have already 10 armor. Let's get 10 luck. Let's start finding better items. I'm gonna definitely say XP first this time. Let's take this. I don't want to lose more range. My damage is in the negatives though. I'm gonna say yes to get losing more range. I, I know I literally said I don't want to do that. Let's get, get an armor. for life. And max life in region for healing per food. Uh, we're gonna roll only for one weapon pretty much. I'm gonna try again. It's okay. I know 18. I, I know I spend money for every rolling one item, which is theoretically stupid, and practically it's also stupid. But um, actually, no, theoretically it's stupid because practically rerolls do not normally cost 10 and 8, and that was a guaranteed item drop. Because as I said, first three waves there are always two items. Well, uh, four, five, and six. So the next three waves always have one item. So um, it, as long as I kept those three locked, locked in, we would have found an item, and it was just unluckiness that we didn't find specifically, you know, a shield. 
which could have happened because there are weights in this game and there are weights based on characters and then there are also weights based on the items you already have and because i already have shields and the character is a tank i'm assuming the weights would be pretty high six dodge or against five luck i do enjoy the six dodge as an idea yeah let's take that i'm 12 right now 30 12 percent damage we take this in a heartbeat uh, i'm gonna buy all of these and we're gonna roll into another shield very nice opponents moving faster but we gain like 20 healing out of this i'm gonna go health not healing health and put another shield and we're literally almost done with i mean I, i'm done with the weapons not literally almost i don't know what literally almost was going towards but whatever wave six this is the most important wave to have a bunch of things going on and guess what opponents are here I mean, not the bones are here. The main idea is that at wave 6, you want to have any money-related things and uh, 6 weapons guaranteed. Because this wave is supposed to be, at least in my book, the wave that has a bunch of small opponents that rush towards you. So this is a wave you can make a lot of money, as far as I know. Like, the previous wave gave us 150. Let's see how much this is going to give us. And then we can, I guess, take count and see if I'm correct about this, which... Uh, well, based on what I'm seeing, I don't think we're really correct about this. Come on, come on, treasure gob! Treasure gob! Yes, we got a treasure gob. Very nice, that's more important than anything. I get damage based on my movement speed, otherwise I lose damage. Oh, no, we're not gonna take that. Harvesting, that's... This is still really enough, and this is still worth it, so I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna buy all of these, so let's buy this. Let's also combine these and buy this, and this is gonna get bought next turn. Spawns a garden that creates fruit. Nice. Luck against damage. I'm always getting luck against damage. I'm gonna get luck against damage. And I'm also gonna buy the garden. Why not? I do enjoy the garden. I should not have rerolled there. Let's go. The garden is a nice idea. I can sit next to the garden. I just realized something. The garden is completely and utterly useless. I'm pretty sure a lot of you people just realized too. I mean, you most likely realized before me. Because for some reason, when you're watching, it's easier to remember what you're supposed to remember. While when you're playing, it's easier to make mistakes out of... The blue, especially if you're recording and trying to talk at the same time and, you know, you don't let yourself have time to think about things rationally and you just decide on the spot based on something you think is good. Anyway, so the garden is useless because this character cannot heal. <laughs> Whoopsie! You know, the one downside we have, I forgot about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the following. Duh! <laughs> I would really, really suggest... That this guy never, ever, ever finds the garden. Like, this character definitely... Oh, no! Treasure Goblin! No, we weren't fast enough. That's a bit unlucky and a bit sad, but it's okay. Oh, here we go. Coming into support. We lose two armor, which is really bad for us. But we get attack speed based on how many opponents are on the board. Which is really good for us. I'm gonna say, now we're gonna get the 3D range. And here we go, 3 armor guaranteed. This is never again... I, 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 I don't know what I was thinking about. Roll them. Roll them. This does not... By the way, the spiky shields do not get from melee damage. There is no reason for you to invest into melee damage at all let's go here for the life by the way because region is not a thing in general i can go as negative into region as possible i'm gonna say yes on movement speed let's roll these and i found the free reroll bunny i'm gonna take that life still is useless for us like, ah, nope these this, this, this character definitely definitely would benefit from not being able to find healing items at all i think that should be a thing uh, yeah okay i get it but I mean, no, 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 I don't get it. I straight up think it should not be a thing. This guy should never ever find health items. Uh, not health, healing items. Especially, like, the garden. Because there is, like, no reason to. It's as if you you see it and you're like, this is a useless item. Now, obviously, when I saw it, I did not do that connection. But still, the fact that I thought it's a good idea to take that just goes to show how much this guy should not have that in his shop, like, at all. In my opinion it, it's just some quality of life things i mean the game already has weighted items for all the characters we run fast and we also have attack speed so i don't understand why there should not be items that have zero weights on them and i'm not talking about a million things right like uh, the the knockback thing yeah if it only if the only upside is related to healing then it should not be in it if it gives you health and healing then yeah obviously it should be in the game this is I'm gonna take, I mean, HP region is useless, but these two stats are also useless. Like, all three of these are useless for us, so I'm gonna get 15 coins. Kind of like chance. I'm gonna go dodge. That's a secondary base defense thing. XP gain melee damage and lose luck. I don't wanna lose luck. I'm gonna buy these two only. Melee damage is useless to us, so this is lose luck to gain XP. Mm, XP is good, though. And this 10 luck can, this, this luck can get the gain back. Then, um, eh, I'm gonna say yes, although it's useless. 
It's definitely better. This is new spicy sauce. Three max HP. Consumables have a 25% chance to explode for your health when picked up. Insane. And I can have four of these. This is new and I love it. I love it. And we definitely buy this. And let's go. Wow. Just wow. What an awesome item. What an awesome item. So now consumables are not useless for us anymore. They have a chance to explode. Obviously, if I find that sauce more times, they're gonna explode. They're, they're gonna be 100% a chance to explode at some point. But uh, oh man. Oh man, oh man. I'm excited about this new item. And then there's wave 9, by the way. I previously said that wave 6 is when you should be ready. Well, wave 9 is the true wave where you should be ready. But at wave 9, you're always ready. That's why I'm saying wave 6 is where you should try to be ready, as there is a chance you might not have 6 weapons at wave 6. But the 12's 9 is the, the best way for getting a bunch of money and XP. So if you have like hunting trophies or any items that have to deal with when you pick up things or when you... Yeah, any money related items, any money related items, any luck related items, you should have as much luck as possible in your this wave because there are so many opponents here that run into you where you can find free items. Like in general, it's really good. And man, oh man, I love the boosting of speed and attack speed the moment we uh, go lower life. This is really, really, really good and enjoyable. Nice. Uh, this is useless. This is completely useless for us. We're going to sell that. Two range, six speed. Six speed is good. I think I want this. Uh, two armor is obviously good. 12% damage is also good. And nine max life is also good. All of these are really good. I think I'm going to go with percentage based damage. Actually, I think nine max life. It's my armor at 15. Two armor is also... Let's get two armor. Nine movement speed, I would say, here. That's a really good early choice. And here we're going to go like boom, boom, boom. 12% damage. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not going to get... Actually, I'm not into negative crit chance. This is good. We lose one armor, but we get 10% damage because these are all double damage on crits. So this is true 10%. I'm going to take that. This is useless. Roll them. And uh, all of these are useless, I think. Luck engineering, but lose damage. Definitely no. Also definitely no. This is completely useless to us. And uh, actually, no, this is harvesting, but it's never going to pay off for itself. So forget it. And this is 5 max life. But we lose a bit of range. I don't think 5 max life is worth it for 100. We definitely get another spicy sauce. 25%. So that's we are at 50 now. Crit chance, medieval, crit chance, but lose range. I'm gonna get this. We are crit build at this point. I'm also looking into the fighting stick, how it works. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm, I'm really thinking that I should have gotten the 12%, by the way, when I had the chance. Map classic sift case, man. What's my 11% damage? Yeah, I should have gone with the 12% damage. Mistakes are mistakes are mistakes. It is what it is. But armor is also good, so it, it's not like it's a tried and true real big mistake. It's just a small mistake. We still got the two armor, and two armor is important. As it gives us more shielding and more uh, damage mitigation. Now, I literally just need to get my dodge to 60%. And then if I can also make my armor, obviously, 50, as I said. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get 50 armor, to be honest. But you never know. You never know what's going to happen and how good this is going to go. Also, I think I've disabled the explosions. Give me a second. I have disabled, I think, the explosion visual. And I would like to see it. Should be here. Explosions on. Yes. Now, I had these disabled because when I was playing with mods, obviously, everything was exploding all the time, most of the videos. And it was very, very, I would say, blinding, if not, um, you know, inducing. I, I forgot the word right now. Epilepsy inducing is what I tried to say. So there is that, I guess. And now we speed. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> I'm really enjoying my speed here and my power. 30 life, 101 health. Yes, we're going to take this. Previously, I didn't buy it because it was expensive. Now I'm going to take this. 45 range. I'm going to get the range. Actually, no, this is a guaranteed purple, so we're going to go for the free armor. Oof, I should have gone for the movement speed relic when I had the chance, because now I can go above and beyond movement speed, but movement speed is useless for us. 9 dodge. I said 3 armor, but 9 dodge is also good. Also, attack speed is good. Attack speed is 10. Attack speed and dodge. Let's get dodge. Survivability, I think, is a smidge more important. This is going to pay for itself in 5 waves, so I'm going to take this. And uh, shield, of course. About to fight an elite. Uh, this is decent. I get everything I want, and I just lose crit chance, which I also want, but obviously it is what it is. I'm going to fix my range, and we're going to buy the same thing again for 40. Let's go and see if we can beat the elite. This is an old elite. We remember this dude. Okay, DPS-wise, we're definitely able to do this. Now, uh, based on what the opponents do and, and, check, and, and how much we're going to get surrounded, this might change. But, but, but definitely, we got this DPS-wise. Like, we already have him at half health. And we are at the, not even at the half time mark. So that aspect is okay. And I think we actually got this in general, regardless of what I was trying to previously say. Whoop. Avoid, avoid, avoid. And at this point, we won. Very nope. 
Now we won. Very nice. We got the golden legendary box, which, by the way, is supposed to heal you full life. But obviously, that's not a thing for us. And also continue running through opponents. You know that I think about it, I think dodge is maybe a really, really good choice. Although, obviously, armor is always better than dodge. Uh, no, I 100% take that back. Because if you can have 99% dodge, you're going to feel immortal. While if you have 99% armor, you still can easily die. So, let's continue. And let's see what we got. Whoop, five... Range damage, useless. 10% damage, good. 10 range, good. Lose crit chance and attack speed. Uh, so I trade 5% attack speed and crit chance for 10% damage and range. Because range damage is another thing. I think we're going to get the money. I don't think range is worth it. Damage is worth it, yes. But not for both of these. If it was only the crit chance, then maybe yes. Harvesting armor. I'm going to say this still will pay for itself. But let's roll these. Oh, 9 health or speed health. Ooh. Roll them. 9 health again. Boom. 138 health. Very nice. 5 harvesting, but less enemies. No, I'm going to get this armor, obviously. Roll them. Max health against HP region. HP region is not even a thing for us. This is just more enemies. The the other two uh, lose money, no. I lose attack speed for damage. I'm going to say yes. 10% damage is definitely worth it. And now spike shield. Very nice. Let's combine these two and buy another one. And we're going to definitely buy the lose crit chance. Although we are trying to invest in the crit chance, this the, the stats it gives us is are more worth it than the crit chance itself and let's continue let's go on 66 damage is what we're doing 132 on the crits some 50s because we don't have the 132 on the crits yeah i said the same like I, for some reason i thought that the crits were doing 100 damage and then the moment i started reading 132 i realized that i already have expressed the exact same sentence and yeah anyway i, I, I feel like i have some short memory loss or something short-term memory loss does that make sense like, when people repeat things to me, I remember that I've heard them. But the moment I say something, I might already forget for myself. I don't know. But if I repeat it, then I also remember that I repeated it. Although, on long... When, when a lot of days pass, then I might repeat a story to somebody. I don't know, man. Early stages of Alzheimer or something. And our comments are gonna be like, Yo, Sift, if you think that's actually a thing, you should actually look into it. Because there are ways to train it. And you can maybe save yourself from actually having an issue and needing to be aired upon when you become... My older and whatnot. And I really start feeling anxious about this. And then blah, <laughs> damage against range. I'm gonna say yes. Armor for sure. We don't need to look at the rest. Max health and more money based on uh, more health based on your money. Not really. Damage against range is this kill. We're gonna buy this and damage against range as I guess. Yes. Tentacle. Crit chance and chance to heal. Useless. This is 3% crit chance. This is only 3% crit chance. We're gonna take this. It already made us 105. It's gonna make us more. I can buy a turret. It's free damage. You know, it's free damage. First of all, we're gonna definitely combine and buy. I'm gonna, yeah, let's let's buy free damage. Why not? Why not buy free damage? It does six times eight, which is thirty. My attacks do eighty-two, so thirty is a decent stat boost, and it it also got placed in a decent area. So it, it's it's whatever, you know. It, it helps. It helps, and that's the important aspect here. Continue attacking and running into whatever you can. What's my? Uh, I, I want to see the moment I get a level. I want to see how much armor I have. So I'm going to be a bit more sure about uh, how much damage we're taking. And also, I, I have started watching a guy that says how you're supposed to talk. And I should really start cutting my M's and ums and uh, so and whatever. I'm not even saying so. So that's a good, uh, I guess, I just did it again. But I'm not saying so because I this is not something I got used to from talking English. And also, I'm, I guess I don't have that many M's and ums because also my English in general has been taught by television and whatnot. And in those series, like in television, you don't really have these, uh, I guess, filler words, as they're said. 17 life out of 148. This is good. Rage and attack speed is good against one armor. We have 63% of the damage taken. That's not that much. 12 max life against... We're gonna get the, we're gonna get the legendary. Continue here. Roll them. Armor for sure. Everybody moves slower, enemies included. This also guaranteed for sure, and let's go. And at this point, my armor is 67% less damage taken, and my dodge is 36% less damage taken. So now I'm taking 100% more less damage. <laughs> Imagine if that's how it worked, right? 67% uh, of your damage taken is blocked by armor, and then the rest of the 37% is uh, blocked by the dodge. How would that work? Nobody knows. But right, we're gonna continue. I uh, digress. You know what there isn't in this game? There is a thing that isn't in this game, and that is flat damage reduction. That's a thing that is not in this game for some reason. Like plating. They could call it plating, or they could call it block. I mean, 
yeah, I don't know how they could call it. That doesn't really matter. The name is irrelevant. But there is no flat amount of block. And I don't know why. I guess because maybe it could be OP if you get too many of them. But then you can just say, okay, there is a minimum damage cap of one. And then you increase that minimum damage cap based on stages, right? You would introduce a whole new mechanic for this thing to be balanced. But still, it's the thing that is not in the game. So, so the, for example, every 10 waves, the minimum damage you can take would increase by one. It's not like you would find infinite plating and it would be broken instantly. Chance to do damage if you pick up an item. Eh, yeah, why not? Three armor, we take that in a heartbeat. We found the rock. I'm going to definitely take the tank speed. I could go rock build, by the way. This also gives you armor and max HP. And it's primitive and blunt. I'm already blunt. Primitive gives you dodge, uh, health. While, med while medieval gives you armor. No, we, the, the things we have are better. Let's buy this. Lack and dodge, but lose life steal. Perfect. More perfect. Could, could not have been more perfect. Lack and harvesting. Not really. Projectiles. Not really. Roll them. Range and speed. And more trees. Yes. And yes. I don't care about this. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. This is... Uh, what is it? Horde stage? I hate the fact that there are horde stages because they do not provide you with anything of value. Now, you might say, no, if they provide you with XP and uh, money because more enemies, but... Can you even remotely compare XP and money with a legendary item for free? Like, it's it's not even remotely close as to what is better and whatnot. It's the elite, always. Although, let's see if I can get enough money to make myself be wrong about this. If if I can make, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a thousand. If I can make a thousand, then I'm gonna say it's worth it. Now, you might say, Sif, what are you talking about? Man, normally you don't make 300 to 500, and now you're saying the lead stage should have a 1,000? Do you really believe that a legendary is worth 500? And I think yes. I think a legendary is worth 500. While, uh, I mean, it doesn't cost 500 in the shop, but getting a guaranteed legendary, no matter what, even if it's a trash choice, right, is worth something. And that's something I would say is 500. And we got 600, so 400 short of what I wanted. Pick up range and harvesting, but you lose dodge. I would say yes. Yeah, let's make money. Damage against armor. I mean, armor. Obviously, damage is also good, but armor, armor. Armor guaranteed. 72% of this damage taken. Max health and more enemies and more damage. Yes. Yes to everything here. So, you roll for zero. Nice. Another spiky shield. Buy this. How much knockback do I have? 20. I could take more knockback. I don't think it's worth it. Roll it for zero again. Crit chance here, 4%. I don't think it's worth it for a lockdown. Let's roll for 22. Illusion damage. Oh, 10% attack speed. And this alone. 10% attack speed is already enough. And then reduces the attack speed of your items by your attack. You know, your, your turrets gain half your attack speed. Okay. <laughs> Say the... I just wanted to, do, you know, do the sentence. Say the sentence correctly. So, yeah, which is good because we have a turret, but I don't I don't really care about the part that makes my turrets attack faster. I care mostly about the part where I, myself, attack faster. 10% is a decent amount. Now, obviously, coffee would cost like 50, and this is going to cost me 100 plus. But still, it also has the upside of making the turrets better. It's not like right and true only that. Oh, uh, money goblin, which is 30 coins. Used to be treasure, now it's money. <laughs> good old days when it used to be treasure. Now, my attack speed that I gained from my passive, from the player passive... He's also going to be gained on the turrets after I get that thing. So that's also pretty important. And I think these turrets can theoretically pierce also uh, trees if they decide to do so. And we're dying, by the way. Panic, panic, panic. No, we're not dying. We're losing like four life per hit taken. And that's nothing. So definitely no. And we got 600 on a non way. So how do you explain this? I got 600 coins in a non. Uh, let's go with... Yes, take this. And three armor. On a non with wave. I'm gonna buy all again. So let's combine and buy and buy and buy. Roll them. What a good shop. What a good shop. Both of these are really good. I'm gonna definitely buy this. And I'm also gonna buy that. And at this point, we are uh, ready to go. Elite stage. Let's see. I don't remember this elite. Whoa. Okay. Easy-ish. Easy-ish. How did it so happen that both elite stages just happen to be stages that have uh, what are these guys called? I guess mummies. Oh yeah, I remember this elite. I hate this elite, man. He always runs. This It's a borderline unkillable elite because it always runs. And because I got this stage, it's borderline unkillable because too many things are coming in between us. I got him. Got him, boys. Got him. And now it's a, now it's a mummy stage, so uh, we just need to control those mummies. And because I have a heavy knockback weapon, it's easy to control those mummies. 
And nice, we won. I really enjoy that this character does not have the feeling of you're about to die. Although he cannot heal, the way he gains so much armor and so much health, it like right now, for example, I have 60 health. And if I just sit for half a second and think about the fact that in a normal run, I have 60 health anyway. So right now, I don't feel at all threatened. Like, at all 666, that's not random. Elemental damage against max HP, no. Projectiles can bounce, useless. 78 coins. Well, guess what? Do you see this? You see? I was right. I was right. In an elite stage, I get more money. Let's, uh, one arm is not worth it, Lolum. 20 uh, luck is worth it, in my opinion. This is a yes. Engineering for every elemental damage you have. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Harvesting against melee damage. I mean, this is also not gonna pay for itself, we're already too late. Enemies have a 20% chance to explode. And lose harvesting. I mean, theoretically, let's first of all combine. And buy. Does the legendary do anything different? I just does double damage and that's it. I would like to get this. The harvesting is gonna go down to nothingness anyway, so might as well buy this. Oh, I found the best relic in the game. I'm kidding, this is not that good. But I like my my own item. I'm gonna get speed and range again. And I would say we are ready to go, right? Actually, I can roll for 3v3. Now nah, let's go. Let's keep the money. Let's go. My own relic, boys. It's really not good. <laughs> But uh, but it's magnetism, and magnetism is always useful, so you don't have to move that much around and specifically try to chase down the money. I would like to get attack speed. So in that vein, I would like to get Retromation's hoodie, because that would give us 60% attack speed right now, as I do have about 3D... Not about, I have more than 3D dodge. So that's definitely something we would like to see. Here's a treasure gob, let's push it into Oblivion. We pushed into Oblivion, another 45 coins at this point from that. And obviously another 45 from this. So we're making so much money. Maybe that's how we outpaced the Horde stage. No, it's not it. Straight up, Horde stage is trash. Trash. And let's continue moving around, destroying whatever we find. Are we going to be able to beat the game? I think we're going to be able to beat the game just from the fact that I can stick on top of the bosses. And I will kill them faster than they kill us. It's like, that's how we're supposed to do that. 59 coin. Do we get 59 from harvesting? Oh, 62. 25 damage against boss elites, yes. This is useless for us, money. 8%, ah, no, we, we can find better things. Two armor. Buy these two. And speed against range, not really. Pick up range, this is useless at this point. Roll them. Max HP against dodge, definitely no. And uh, we're done. I mean, I can reroll one more time, I guess. Oh, we found the spe spe speaky shield. Let's go. Let's go. Destroy them. 177 damage on a non-crit. My damage is going pretty much through the roof in a very sizable speed. What's my armor at, by the way? I said if I can get like 200 life and I said 50 armor, we're gonna be a god. Did I say 50 armor? I, I mean, I think that were the... I, I don't even remember what my numbers in the beginning were. You guys pump below in the comments what the numbers I said in the beginning are. And don't say the true numbers, obviously. Just say whatever random thing. So we mix everybody up. So it's a fun meme jokey comment section down below. And while you're at it... Maybe drop a like, maybe subscribe, you know, if you're not already. Maybe we're gonna hit the 100k within this month, which I don't think is gonna happen. Maybe we're gonna hit the 100k before my birthday, which I don't think is gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen, actually. But you don't know when I have birthday. Or do you? And now the whole comment section is gonna be commenting a bunch of random things. Anyway, let's get more money. We have 700 coins at this point. Let's go. Shoot eyes around that do damage based on your health. Yes. Uh, four armor. Yes. Uh, attack speed against damage. Yes. <laughs> a bunch of things and lose region. Yes. <laughs> That's really, really good. Spiky shield legendary. Wow. Combine these by this. I not only have legendaries and purples. And yeah, let's go to the next fight. And I'm going to obviously go into endless because we blasted through this game. I mean, and we're going to die endless anyway at some point, so... It is what it is. There is no right... There, there is no, like, true difference in playing Endless or not. Let's let's go. I mean, at least in my book, there is no true difference. Maybe feeling-wise, there is a difference, right? Like, ending it here instead of going into Endless gives you a feeling of completion and a victory instead of a feeling of constant difficulty increasing and constant... and a loss, right? Because it feels like you lose when Endless is over. Well, if you don't go into Endless, it feels like you're winning. But uh, the feeling of winning is not my purpose. The feeling of challenging myself and winning in general is not my purpose. Like, my purpose is having fun, and Endless allows fun. While winning is just winning, that's it. You feel like you beat the challenge, or you feel like you are the best, or you feel like you won, right? But winning is not everything. 
having fun, in my opinion, is everything because, well, games by definition are supposed to either be fun or challenging. Let's see what we go with. Uh, let's obviously we don't care about burning. Explosion size, explosion damage, obviously we don't care about that. Crit chance and range against the two things we care about. I'm gonna take this though because 15% crit chance is a lot and the stats we lose we can easily fix. Damage, uh, I, I take this for the damage. I'm gonna get 20% attack speed. Giant belt, critical hits deal 10% of an enemy's current health as bonus health. 1% for bosses, yes. That's my crit chance. It is 23%. I would like to reduce my range, honestly. We have too much. What is happening with the legendaries today? Max health and luck against damage. We definitely, definitely, definitely buy that. Spawns a twit that deals damage. I don't think I care about this. 3D damage is very low. And we're about to go into elite stage right away. Let's roll these. Pretty chance against armor. I'm going to take that and let's go. Let's go. This is, whoa, this is new. This is new. I have never, ever seen this one. Nope, I have. I remember this pattern. This pattern is not uh, completely new to me. And uh, at this point, one elite's toast, and the other elite's also gonna get toasted. So it seems like elites give you guaranteed chests, which is obviously really good for us, as I gain 35 coins per chest. So this is how we're gonna make most of our money every time we fight in the elite stage. And I don't know how long this fight is gonna last. Maybe this is gonna be the most tanky rock you're ever gonna see. Maybe it's gonna go down in one hit. Maybe it's gonna be the most crazy biggest run you will ever see in your life. Maybe it's just normal fight. By the way, why are we fighting those enemies that are supposed to appear only when you have bait? I don't have bait. What are you doing, game? Why are you giving me those little sharks? The shark boys. Baby shark. Da, da, da. By the way, I didn't even know that song. I, I, I have zero recollection as to... Not zero recollection. I never, ever, ever sit down to hear a baby shark song ever. It, I just happened to hear it from a video that had it as a sideways piece that they added as a meme half a second. I don't want this. Yes, three armor is good, but four damage is not something I want to throw out. Actually, why not? 10% dodge when I stand still. My dodge is through. Yeah, let's buy this. Why not? Melee damage. That's useless for us. Max health against dodge. Honestly, I can go for the max health, yes, but the dodge is a smidge more important. Nah, take it. A six armor. Let's go, and we lose nothing. And I don't have enough money for the panda. I'm gonna get the panda first then, because the panda gives us luck. Max health, yes. As we roll for zero, obviously we're gonna roll here. Let's get speed, and I'm gonna say let's go. Yeah, luck is important because it gives you more chests. Obviously, more armor gives you more damage, so it has a different kind of importance to it. But still, I would say getting the luck early is always better, as finding a single chest because of that luck, which is not something you can realize, by the way. But if you get a single chest out of that luck, then obviously it it was worth it at the end of the day. It would be nice if you could somehow know if it was luck. Right? If it's like a, a random number generator and it tries to understand how more or less you have. Like for example, let's say the following. Every enemy that dies has a 1% chance to die. But how does that roll? It rolls a number in the background. I I'm saying random things right now, by the way. I'm, I'm saying things that are a hypothesis. So let's say every enemy has a 1% chance to give you an item, which is... Yeah, let's say 1%. It's, it's less, but let's say 1%. Uh, and, but how does that roll happen? The number generator in the background rolls a number, and if that number is, let's say it rolls from 1 to 100, it, it rolls obviously huge numbers, but let's say it rolls from 1 to 100, if it rolls a 1, then you get an item. If it doesn't roll a 1, then you don't get an item. Let's roll these. I want armor or uh, dodge or something. I'm gonna get dodge. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this and lose. Speaking as lifestyle, definitely yes, roll these, and I think we're good. So let's say it rolls a one, you get the you get an item. If it rolls any other number, you don't get an item. Now let's say that luck is a one percent one percent ratio increase. So if you have hundred luck, instead of only one percent chance to get an item, you now have two percent chance to get an item, right? Up to this point, everybody should be following. So let's say now you have two percent chance to find an item. That means in the random number generator again, if it's gonna roll a one, you get an item. But also if it rolls a two, you get an item. So my suggestion is, if it rolls a two. Then it shows an icon like a little, uh, a small little uh, triangle, a small little luck icon appears, like because luck has an icon, a little dice, a small little dice appears, like poop, it just pops for half a second, for like half a millisecond, so that you know that you got that item because of luck. Now, if that didn't pop, then it means that the random number generator rolled a one, which already would have given you the item, right? So luck did not affect your chance for that. But if it did roll a two, and then you got the item because you have more luck, and now the two also counts as a, an item drop then it would showcase that somehow. I don't know, man. That's, that's like super useless info, by the way. But I really enjoy 
as a player and as a human, I really enjoy, uh, I don't care about this, I really enjoy knowing exactly if my luck was worth it or not. This has saved me 400 coins. I'm going to buy a second one. That's uh, that, that's something that I think is important. Definitely this range attack speed for sure. Damage life still not useless. Let's roll for 35. And now my life steal and speed. That's also useless. Let's go. So, and like as I said, completely useless uh, info. Not really something that will help you in any way, case, shape, or form. It's not going to make you a better player. But you will get a feeling as to if luck is important and how much it would help you and it would be even better if that was added in the metrics like at the end of the game if it told you uh, this many chests and this many chests from luck like that that would be really really good because then people would start understanding if luck is good or not if it's worth it or not and the same goes for the shop like if the shop rolls an epic or a legendary weapon it would be nice if there was a little dice like a little symbol in the corner something that could tell you that these things appeared because of luck. Otherwise, you would have gotten one tier lower or whatever. That, that would be really nice because it makes you understand that your choices have value and they are worth it. While without those things I'm just mentioning, you cannot possibly know if your choice did any difference or if it mattered or, you know, in general. So once again, useless info, but at the same time, also useful info. Uh, get the turret, get the mines, get three armor. Uh, when I dodge, I damage opponents. Might as well, you know, might as well. Uh, speed gain, yes. Roll and pull. Potato is here. Potato. Let's buy this too. Do you remember when I said that uh, a legendary is worth 500 coins? Yeah. You see this? You see this? That's how it manifests. Let's see how we're gonna defeat those boys. We got the rammer guy and we got the summoner. So first of all, I would say we chase down the summoner because the rammer guy is gonna miss hitting us anyway. And uh, then the, the armor guy is going to come in and we're going to destroy him when the time comes. By the way, let's not forget that at half health, I become more powerful than I am at full health. And I just also realized that we should have definitely got the engine that gives you damage based on how much speed you have. Because this guy gets speed when he's low life. So that would give us another 20% damage boost at low life. I, I really don't know what I was thinking about at that point. I just had negative speed the moment the item appeared and I just was like, okay, I'm not going to do it. Super stupid of me. Super wrong. Not stupid. Wrong. I guess stupid could also be a thing because stupid means not not uh, logical. Right? Does it stupid mean not logical? I mean, I don't know why I'm asking as, as if that's like some crazy knowledge. Yeah, stupid means not, not logical. Let's continue on. You, you can discuss that in the comments too. Recovery against dodge, obviously no. Against dodge, against once, obviously no. Roll them. Six dodge. What's my dodge at? 42. We continue with climbing that up. I'm gonna get the potato first. We do have enough money for the second. Combine and buy. And we're also gonna get one armor against speed. I do have speed here. Armor is important. Only 69. Nice. Let's roll for zero. This does not work, by the way. Stops working at wave 20. And should also stop appearing after wave 20. But once again, quality of life in this game is a bit wonky. A bit wonky. I don't know why, but there is almost... It's almost non-existent. Like, quality of life... Like, not finding items that can heal you on a character that cannot heal. Or not being able to find the piggy bank. Even though piggy bank literally doesn't work after wave 20. Or not finding, for example, the crown. Because I'm definitely sure we can find the crown right now. The crown, by the way, in case you don't know. It says that it increases your harvesting scaling rate. In case you don't know, harvesting does increase per wave. So the crown says each wave you get even more harvesting from your harvesting. But uh, the thing is that after wave 20, harvesting actually goes down each wave. So at some point we're going to have zero harvesting. Right now we have 22. As you can see here, normally it goes 5% up. But after the wave 20, it goes 20% down. So within like 20, within six waves, we already have 22 harvesting. Although previously we had like 50 something. So imagine now finding the crown, which the crown says you, f you get 5% more harvesting per wave. Which means it doesn't work. Like, a lot of things don't work after 20, and you still can find them. Quality of life in this game, man. Quality of life. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna take this. It's a 3 crit chance regardless. 4 armor, obviously, we take that. Oh, things are cheaper. That's actually really good. Roll him for 0. And roll him for 0 again. Couch. This is the reverse of the movement speed thing. This is the HP region version. We're gonna definitely buy this, though. We're gonna definitely buy attack speed and range. Let's continue. Double elite. Once again, we're gonna go for the melee guy first. As he's not running like crazy. I mean, I guess both of them are melee, but one of them is the tried and true one, and the other one just exists. 
I'm losing life pretty fast. This is what I have to say. I'm at 160 right now. I want to see how much life I'm going to lose if anything hits me again. A very round amount, by the way. I'm. It seems like they are missing me, right? Or am I doing so much? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of dodges. I'm getting a lot of dodges. I'm still 160. I'm just getting dodge after dodge after dodge, although I'm not even trying. Still 160. You imagine if I found some kind of super bug where... Nope, 150, 138. Panic, panic. No, I'm kidding. 126. At 115 is when we get our power boost. So here we got it. Nice. We got our power boost, movement speed boost. Oh man, oh man. I'm so sad about the fact we didn't get the machine thing. What was it called? I guess the generator. Speed generator. That's what we're gonna call that from here on out. Until I forget what I decide to call it from here on out. Made against crit, obviously no. Attack speed against damage is what I'm seeing here. I'm gonna say no. Get this. It does crit chance, but lose one life. Not really. I'm gonna take this though. Random enemies just explode. Damage but and armor, but lose damage when you get hit. Definitely no. Attack speed when standing skill. This got buffed crazily. I'm gonna say um, health against the region, which I don't have yet. Let's go! The Dromations hoodie! The best attack speed item in the game. And we also have too much range anyway, so we are super lucky. Retromation, if you for some reason in this part of the video, your item is insanely good. Just so you know. Wink, wink. Anyway, as if he doesn't know, man, he has like the best item in the game. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. And he's playing the game daily, so he definitely has a lot more knowledge on this game than me. But um, yeah, does he though? <laughs> no, he. I mean, if we're talking about experience then he definitely has more than me. But if you're talking about sitting down and thinking about what to get, what to buy, what is good, what is not, that is on the human. I'm not saying that I'm better than him or not. No, I'm definitely not saying that. I'm just saying that that has not to do with experience. Experience does affect it very heavily. Now, I'm going into philosophical discussion right now. I'm not talking about retromation anymore. So, in, in general, I think experience is helping you uh, be more sure about your opinion and ideas and about your knowledge. More knowledge. Forget opinions and ideas. Okay? Experience helps you be sure about your own knowledge. Uh, or about your own opinion. Because you can know if you are right or not sh through the fact that you played enough. Wow, I didn't make enough money for this. We're gonna buy this and we're gonna just roll twice. Cap my life. How about no? And yeah, let's go. <laughs> wow, we didn't have enough money. Insane. So, um... Yeah, it, it, uh, what I mean to say is that if uh, uh, tying this back with the whole retromation idea, if retromation thinks something is right, and I think the opposite, the chances of him being right are higher because he has more experience, and therefore he might have actual experience on the subject matter. Like he might say this item is insane and this item is trash. I might have the opposite opinion, and his opinion has a higher chance of being correct because of experience but that does not mean that somebody with experience once again not retromation this time um might be wrong even though he might have experience because sometimes you learn something and then you repeat it again and again and again and again wrongly right and then your experience builds up with wrong experience you might be using i don't know the smg which is the best weapon because you yourself have been winning every run you do with smg i lost at the zero second by the way <laughs> Dang it. Anyway, we lost, but it's okay. I, I didn't really want to lose on purpose there. I actually wanted to get their retromation hoodie. At the very end, I was rushing into them to get even more money out of them at this final second, but I I, I over I and I overestimated how much 60 dodge and 78 armor is gonna protect us against 15 damage opponents. As you understand, we would have died at wave I would say 35 because opponents were scaling very crazy. At the end, they were doing more than 10 damage. Even though I was gaining more and more armor and dodge, we were still taking more and more damage, so that was crazy. Let's see what he gets. Plus one max HP for every permanent armor you have. Why does it say permanent armor? I guess because there are things that increase your armor temporary? First of all, I really enjoy this. This is insane. And I also have to say that it's really, really good for the golem itself. A thing that I've said a bunch of times, if the item you get is good for the hero who gives it to you, it's a good item. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment down below. 
in case I didn't end my argument I previously was talking about, I was just saying that sometimes you might gather wrong experience, right? Sometimes you might think, oh, SMG is the best weapon because I used SMG 50,000 times and I always win with SMG while when I'm using the pistol, I'm actually losing. Yeah, that might be because you have built so much experience on SMG that the moment you change uh, your build, I guess, your, your basic thing you know about, the moment you switch it, you you are the player that doesn't know what you're doing and therefore you make the pistol not be useful and it's not that the pistol itself is not a good weapon but it's actually that you have too much experience with smg and your opinion has been um i guess uh, let's say corrupted by the fact that you played too much and that's a thing that they have in play game testing by the way that's an actual issue that exists in game testing if a game tester plays a game too much he becomes so good sometimes in some games that he himself thinks that things are more powerful than they actually are because he knows how to play the game and then the devs make the game harder than it actually is this is a classic case of how communities make things always and always nervous that's how nerfs are coming in more than buffs because noobs are not good at playing things and when they think then when they say that things should get buffed they they are not getting considered like their, their opinion is not valued while pro players that know what they're doing think that the game is easier than it actually is and therefore they also have a wrong opinion but their opinion is valued because they have experience and then people say yo if you get experience you're gonna understand and then you know the meme comes in skill issue and whatnot and then everything is like completely off balance for the newcomer and then the question is who do you balance for uh all the audience and the new players and having a fun time and then if you're too good then the game is too easy for you or do you balance for people that are gonna play the game forever therefore you need to have challenges and whatnot to keep them preoccupied or whatever or you know unlockables is also a very easy way of making them uh, maintain anyway i would like to hear opinions about this and everything else i mentioned comment down below and uh, don't forget to subscribe comment like below and uh, yeah and, uh, all the youtube things man do do whatever you want i'm i'm happy that you're here at the very end listening to me that alone is already the best thing you can do it helps the algorithm like crazy and also keep an eye out for the merchandise we're gonna drop at some point and also join my discord because we're having a giveaway right now for potato keys there are only three the chance of you getting it is very low. I'm never going to lie to you, but you can just join and click a button. It's just one button. You don't need to register nothing. Like, I mean, you need to register on Discord if you don't have one. But otherwise, it's just literally you, you click one button and you're already part of the thing. So there's that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.